We all know there's tens of thousands of cities in the world, and some of them are unbelievably huge. More than 400 of the big cities around the world have populations varying from 1 to 5 million people. These cities are quite normal as far as routine life is concerned. However, some of these cities are known around the globe because of their unique features. These include the city inspired by people's love for chess, and many other strange and stunning cities too. Today we'll tell you all about some of the weirdest cities you probably didn't know about. So make sure you watch till the end, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Rennes Le Chateau, France We've all wondered what inspired Dan Brown for the Da Vinci Code. Well, believe it or not, a lot of it came from a very quiet French village located on a hilltop known as Rennes Le Chateau. It is located between Kion and Limou and is a tiny village with just a hundred or so residents. As per the legend, Bernoulli Souvenir used to be a pastor in the village. He made relentless efforts to restore the village church, which was in pretty bad condition. The pastor used some of his wealth to build a large villa in the village, which seemed out of place. Assumingly, the pastor found treasure in one of the altar's pillars that also had secret mystical messages. In 1917, the pastor died and his housekeeper inherited his fortunes and died at the age of 85. Chef Chown, Morocco if you wear a blue shirt and blue jeans while visiting Chef Chon in Morocco, your colleagues would face immense difficulty in finding you, as the city is known as the Blue Pearl of Morocco. Everything in the city is blue. It's believed that the city was founded by the Jews and Moors who fled from Spain to the Rift Mountains around 1471. Some people think that the city was washed in blue to symbolize Jews fleeing persecution by Hitler, while some others say that the color was chosen to keep the mosquitoes away. Some speculate that the blue color was chosen as it represents the color of the ocean. Neft Daslari, Azerbaijan Neft Daslari is located in Baku, Azerbaijan. It is a strange city known as Oil Rocks and is an industrial settlement in the Caspian Sea. It's about 34 miles from the nearest shore. It was the first oil platform in Azerbaijan as well as the first offshore oil platform anywhere in the world. It commenced as a single path over the water. Soon, it turned into a system of paths and platforms. Ultimately, it became a functional city with a population of 3,000 people residing in 190 miles of streets built on landfall and dirt. People here work seven-day offshore shifts. Over time, the city has become home to conveniences such as a library, community centre and a cinema. The city was part of James Bond's film released in 1999. Coober Australia Coober Pedy is located about 526 miles from Adelaide in northern South Australia. It's extremely hot and has more than 7,000 residents. Most of them reside underground in dugouts. People live in extremely unfavorable conditions due to mining opportunities. The town has the largest opal mining area in the world. Here, heavy mining of iron ore and oil is also carried out. In this city, you cannot build a regular house, and the majority of residents prefer to live in canvas, and they carve out their three-bedroom homes with living rooms, bathrooms, and kitchens in the rock of the hillside. Although the cost for building this type of home is the same as a regular house, it saves you from the scorching heat and the temperatures reaching 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Chess City, Russia A village located near Alista in Russia is fully dedicated to the game of chess and is known as Chess City. In reality, it is an Olympic village or complex, but residents call it the City of Chess. It was built in 1998 for the 33rd Chess Olympiad. The wealthy president of Kalmakia, Kristin Illuminazov, was an ardent chess fan. It was his desire to create something exceptional. Accordingly, a neighborhood-sized complex having a four-story city chess hall, an Olympic-style village, sculptures and artwork were developed and dedicated to chess. At that time, Christine was also president of the international governing body of chess. So far, the city has hosted three major tournaments in 1998, 2004 and 2006. There are plans to incorporate a skiing center, business, government buildings, a water sports complex, museums and other attractions into the city. Battleship Island, Japan in Japan, off the coast of Nagasaki, is located a UNESCO World Heritage Site on the tiny island of Hashima. Due to its peculiar silhouette, it's known as Battleship Island. It has been deserted since the early 1970s. It had been a flourishing community from 1890 onwards as coal was extracted from underwater mines to power the ever-growing shipbuilding industry. It had a population of about 5,000 people. The island was abandoned when coal reserves were exhausted 
It laid in ruins for several years. In the 2000s, it started to emerge as a tourist attraction. Nagasaki City planned its restoration and presently has five sites having an operative business. It was made available to the public in 2009. Hell, Michigan The community living in Livingston County, Michigan is known as Hell, which is an unincorporated community in Putnam Township. It's about 15 miles from Ann Arbor and about 3 miles from Pikeney. People have different theories on how the community got this name. It is said that in the 1830s, German travelers exited a stagecoach on a sunny afternoon and exclaimed Zoe Chanel, which translates to so beautifully bright. However, locals overheard their comments, especially the hell bit. Others think that the name is attributable to conditions existing in the area. The more appropriate theory is related to basic disinterest in it when Michigan gained statehood. In replying to some question, George Reeves, who operated a sawmill distillery, replied that he didn't care and one could name the place Hell. So, since 1841, it's been called Hell. Najaf, Iraq Navigating the graves to reach the burial site of a loved one in the cemetery of Najaf in Iraq is a difficult proposition. Wadi al-Salam, the biggest cemetery in the world, is located here. Residents of this city live together with the dead. Najaf is situated about 100 miles away from Iraq's capital Baghdad. Its population is around 1 million people. Excavation efforts over the years have confirmed that Najaf has the largest Christian cemetery in Iraq, which spans over 1,416 acres. Relics dating back to the Sassanid era around 7th or 8th century BC have been found here. It is the holiest city for Shia Muslims. The city was founded by the Abbasid Caliph Harun al-Rashid in 791 AD as a shrine to Ali bin Ali. Nuevo do Codero Gender imbalances create all kinds of problems in cities. In Brazil, there is a remote village, Noel do Codero, that comprises a mostly female population. It is located in Belo Valle, approximately 300 miles from Rio de Janeiro. Here, women remain busy working in the valley for growing sweet tangerines, banana plants and other fruits and vegetables. Although they are content but long for love as highlighted by the 25-year-old Nelma Fernandez. This significant imbalance in gender dates back to the 19th century when a woman settled in the village after she was accused of adultery. Just a few men live in the village who work away during the week. Thamestown, China Thamestown is located in Xinjiang District, a few miles from Shanghai, and it's named after the river flowing through London in the UK. Its architecture is pretty similar to that of London. Apart from its appearance, the strange thing is that very few people live in the town, as the prices of houses were so exorbitant that very few people could afford to buy and reside there. One of the major objectives of building this town was to attract people away from the congested central Shanghai and also provide accommodation for neighboring Sanjong University town. Investors bought most of the properties and residences became beyond the reach of the general public. Now it's used for wedding photography. Setenil de la Bodegas, Spain Setenil de la Bodegas and Cadiz, Spain, located in Spain, are known for their dwellings built into rock walls overhanging the Rio Guadala Porcon River. It is populated by about 3,000 people. Houses in the rock wall were developed by expanding natural caves and adding external walls. The city also produces delicious meat products such as chorizo sausage, pork and delicate bakery items. Once it used to be a fortified Moorish town located on a bluff overlooking the river and had a castle dating back to the 12th century. It's also believed that the area was inhabited by people who lived in caves about 25,000 years ago. Slab City, California One can only stop while traveling through Slab City if one lives a transient lifestyle, an off-grid alternative lifestyle. The community Imperial County, California got this name due to the concrete slabs that were left behind after World War II Marine Corps training camps were demolished. Presently, it's inhabited by people who want to live away from mainstream society. It covers about 640 acres of public land and is located 169 miles from Los Angeles and 50 miles from Mexico. Due to fluctuating temperatures, the population is more in winters and fewer in summers as temperatures reach 120 degrees Fahrenheit. People living here since the 1950s are not fond of the normal lifestyle. Income sources here include security checks, tourists and donations. All the basic facilities are available here for tourists. Centralia, Pennsylvania In 1980, Centralia in Columbia County, Pennsylvania had a population of around 1,000 people. However, by 2017, just five members remained in the town. 
1962, a coal mine fire started burning underneath Centralia. Compulsory purchase of all real estate was enforced before being condemned in the early 1990s by the common law of Pennsylvania. In 2002, its postal code was removed, but still seven residents wanted to stay in the town. The official agreement was reached in 2013, permitting them to stay there till their deaths. Only bootleg mines in Centralia remained open till the 1980s. Although firefighters were employed to extinguish the fire in 1962, it continued to simmer and spread. Huanglo Village, China Huanglo Village is located just two hours' distance from Guilin City along the Jinsha River, famous for its paddy terraces, mountainous backdrop, and being a remote area. It is home to an indigenous community known as the Red Yao people dating back to the Qin Dynasty. It has 600 tribe members from 78 families. Most prominently, women here have long, dark hair, and nearly every girl has hair about 5 feet long where record lengths reached 7 feet. They wash their hair daily with river water and every few days clean it with a concoction of fermented rice water, pomelo skins, and tea plant seed oil. Long hairs are considered a sign of longevity. Hairs are only cut once girls turn 18. Kadinhi, India Twins are a pleasant surprise. Birth rate of twins in the village of Kadini, India is extremely high, and scientists are trying to find the reason behind it. The population of the village is about 2,000, and about 400 of them are twins. Several of them are identical. Initially, the birth rate of twins was not high, but it increased in the following years. By 2008, there were 30 sets of twins. A few years later, there were 60 identical twin sets. On average, there are four twins for every 1,000 babies born in the world, whereas nine in India and an incredible 45 in the village of Kodini. A town of two states. Volsingen am Hochrhein is a German municipality and spreads over three miles. It's surrounded by Switzerland-owned territory. About 1,450 people reside in this town, but since around the early 19th century, it is separated from the rest of Germany. There is a narrow strip of land about 2,230 feet wide, which contains the Swiss village of Dorflingen. Politically, Buschingen is part of the Constance district of Germany. However, economically, it forms part of the Swiss Customs Union under Liechtenstein. In 2019, unofficially, it also formed part of the Italian village Campion d'Italia. A lot of people visit this town as it is close to Rhine Waterfall and other attractions. Matmata, Tunisia Living in a small home or RV or a van is considered unusual as far as societal standards are considered. People in Matmata have a unique living style. Several Berber inhabitants of this tiny southern Tunisian town reside in traditional underground troglodyte structures built by digging large pits in the ground. These pits are connected with passageways. People in the neighboring towns came to know about it in 1969 when continuous 22 days of rains caused the collapse of several troglodyte homes. Above-ground residences were built, but just a few families opted to live in those buildings. Whittier, Alaska Whittier is a city located about 58 miles from Anchorage, Alaska. Its population is about 300 people, all living in a sign building called the Bejic Towers Condominium, which contains homes as well as all the public facilities. It's a 14-floor high building having three modules interconnected. In 1950, it first became known as an unincorporated village and incorporated 20 years later. 205 people lived here in 2018 and there were 313 housing units. 13.9% of its population are under 18 years. Mostly, ages vary from 45 to 64 years. It has all the necessary services available here and it's linked with the land through a seaward highway. Yangtze, China the Chinese government does not permit foreigners to visit Yangtze village as half of the population are dwarfs. According to the media reports, almost 50% of all people born and raised in this village are of shorter height than the national average. 40 out of 80 inhabitants are dwarfs, with the tallest being 3 feet 8 inches, whereas the shortest is 2 feet and 1 inch tall. Scientists could not find any plausible reason for this phenomenon. According to village elders, a mysterious disease spread in children between the ages of 5 and 7. They stop growing and some face other disabilities. Dongguan, China The city of Dongguan is located in the South Chinese province of Guangdong. It's famous for its several electric assembly plants. However, most importantly, it's known for the reason that the women in this town have to compete to find a husband, as there is an acute shortage of men. Due to its one-child policy, most of China confronts a significant imbalance in gender, as there are millions more men than women. 
but the story of this city is quite contrary to the rest of China as there are fewer women than men. Local assembly plant owners consider male employees extremely unreliable, therefore they mostly hire women. Resultantly, more women have migrated to this city whereas job opportunities for men have diminished. Hence, there is a massive shortage of single men for women to partner with. So, a single man can have usually two to three permanent girlfriends. The city is also known as the city of sex. Does your city have something special to offer? If yes, do share with us in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll be back soon with more amazing stories for you guys.